Okay guys, this is Jim and Randall again, and uh, good morning on June the 4th. We're actually sitting about 30 or so, 40 kilometres south of Lake Forks. Uh, we heard last night on the radio that uh, there's been a massive rain up at the Simpson, and, uh, up the top end of the, the road up here, and uh, we may have to reconsider our plans on which way we're going to go. But uh, that's the joys of the outback travel. As you can see, we've got dawn, nice early morning, the sun's just rising in my eyes, and uh, the kettle's on the fire. For the second time, I note, because mm -hmm. somebody else tipped it. Would you? And, uh, no, Raven. Oh, Raven. Crow. Raven. And uh, we're up and about and moving around. And we'll make some decisions later on about what we're doing today. So that's it for me this morning. And that's it for him. And me too. And uh, that bloke as well. And uh, we'll catch him sometime later in the day. Try and get the quadcopter up today and do some video on this spot. Beautiful spot. We're actually on the first of the sand dunes when we're travelling north. It's a bit of a sand dune, very little one, very stable one. But uh, beautiful. You can hear the crows calling. That's going to be That's it, I'm awake. I'm awake. Okay guys, we've just had our dinner, and the flies have all gone to bed, thank God for that, and uh, we're just having a cup of tea here soon, and uh, so we'll go out to bed probably another hour or so. The time at the moment, this South Australian time of course, which is, uh, oh God, quarter to six, quarter to six, that's that 17.45, and uh, first star is out over here, the other one up there. And uh, we've got another beautiful sunset, as we had a beautiful sunrise this morning. But we stayed today. We stayed and just had a bit of a bludge for the day. Wait for the tracks to open from the rain. <coughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully <coughs> tomorrow we'll head up onto the Strathleggy track. And uh, if, <laughs> if all goes well according to plan, 
the track will be open and we'll be able to come on the track and start heading back down to uh, Farina. And we'll be stopping on the way, camp a night down there somewhere or two, and uh, cut up some firewood to take to Farina. Because uh, I can assure you, Bloody cold. you need a fire at Farina. And there ain't no wood there, baby. There ain't no wood of any description there because everybody in these ducks burnt it. So oh, if you want wood when you go there, you've got to bring your own or bring a gas uh, heater because I can tell you, last year we were there, Monday. it was minus 8 degrees in the morning and it was bloody cold. And I mean bloody cold. It's about the coldest night I've spent in the desert for a very long time. So that's it from me and that's it from him. And... Uh, we're going to go and have a bit of a cup it's of tea and go to sleep. It's moving. Yeah, Rand Randall's got the spooks up. The fire's moving. Yeah. Oh, dear. You can't dig good up, can you? No, you can't, no. <laughs> Where's me cup of tea? In the bloody belly! <laughs>